opened up Big Ten play on the road uh, with Northwestern, which was a barn burner yesterday. Um, uh, we uh, think it was a tale of two halves. Um, came out in the second half and really um, our defense tightened up a bit and I thought we went on a couple of runs, but um, had trouble scoring, obviously. Um, I was proud that we uh, really played some um, pretty stout defense and I think you know even the score at the end, we started to foul a little bit. Um, to try to stop the the, the clock, but um, you know, as I said at, uh, last week, I think that we're continuing to um, try to progress and move forward, and um, I think that you know our team is continuing to um, find our identity and, and find that consistency. Thanks, Coach. We have microphones on either side. If we have any questions for Coach Mosley, go ahead. Dan. Last two games. It has been a tale of two halves. So how can you guys improve better starts? You know, what, how, how are you going to stop getting in some of these early holes? Yeah, I think um, that's something I was talking to my staff about um, earlier today. I think there's a, um, a nervousness that we're starting with a little bit. And I think that's human nature, right, to, the, um, to get started. But I think, um, you know, we've got to find a way to calm ourselves down and have better starts because I think if we don't get ourselves in the hole in that first quarter, we've either played even or beat people in the um, you know third and fourth quarters. So, um, but unfortunately, the game is four quarters, so we've got to figure out um, how to to really come out with a quicker start. Go ahead, Zach. You mentioned the consistency and, and the nervousness, maybe a little bit. Do those things go hand in hand? You think, and if you can. Uh, figure out the nervousness, the consistency will come, or vice versa? Yeah, I think you're right. I think the nervousness leads to a lack of consistency because I think if you're um, a little bit anxious or a little bit nervous um, and then maybe you start missing some shots and then it kind of snowballs, I think it can go the other way too. It can snowball to you know confidence and consistency. So um, ideally that's what we, you know, we want to do. I was really proud of um, Brooke Shramick and Hallie Douglas's um, effort last night or yesterday afternoon. Um, I thought that they both came in, um, obviously Brooke starting, but Hallie coming off the bench and, and giving us a great spark. Um, and so I think there's bright spots there for us too. But again, that the, to answer your original question, yeah, I think that we've got to address the nervousness piece to then lead to the consistency. Going off of all that, is that something you address in practice, something you're working on? Is that just speaking with the girls? Does that just come with you get more confidence when you play more games or how are you working on that? Yeah, I think it's a combination. Um, we're pretty open. Um, we have a pretty honest uh, dialogue with our team. We also have Chad McGee, who we work with, um, was our director of meditation. So, um, you know, we worked individually with him um, on like what individuals can work on. But I think now coming up with a strategy collectively as a team is something that I'm looking into doing so that we can kind of see, okay, how can we have some type of mantra or some type of um, practice that we do right before games to kind of set us on the right path. So um, we're going to continue to work at it um, and try to find the solution to make sure that we, we get off to the best start possible. Andy? Marissa, every team that gets a new coach has to transition somehow. What is, what is the biggest challenge in that regard for you? What are you seeing from your players that is uh, maybe taking a little bit longer than you thought or maybe, maybe a little bumpier than you thought at this point in time? Is it, it, it feels bumpy here? No, I'm kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, levity, you have to, right? Um, no, I think that um, probably the biggest thing is um, when you haven't had as much success in the past, the expectation to win and the belief that you can win, right? A lot of times people talk about like you're afraid to lose, but there's also a fear in winning and being afraid to win games. And so I think that we have to make sure that we're, we're not afraid to go out and believe that we're capable and that we should be in those and that we deserve to, to win and that we we're prepared to win. I think there's a, a combination of that as well. Dan? You talked earlier this season about Brooke and how you figure she's just starting to reach her potential. Did you kind of see that yesterday against Northwestern with her career highs? Yeah, I mean, I think for Brooke, you know, she is definitely starting to um, come into her own and understanding, um, you know, where she can get points. 
um, how she can impact the game on both ends of the floor. And I'm really excited for her to continue to grow. I mean, if you think about it, she's really kind of a, a freshman and a half um, just based off of last season and um, and then this year and playing in front of people and, and a, a new system and all those things. So, um, you know, we're young in that way. Um, and I think everyone's continuing to learn, myself included. But I'm excited to see her really kind of step up. And, you know, it was a, a little bit of a homecoming for her. And I think she really uh, rose to the occasion and, and helped us in, in spots that we needed it for sure yesterday. Go ahead, Diane. You talked also about your shooting woes, but you actually outshot Northwestern yesterday. Can you just talk about your defense, how, how good it's been this season? Yeah, um, it didn't feel like we outshot them yesterday. <laughs> so, um, but, but thank you. Sometimes they say the numbers don't lie. But um, no, I think um, you know, we've made some adjustments on our defense um, from early on in the season. We fixed it up a little bit more. Um, Somebody's got to take their medication here. Um, we uh, we uh, we've mixed it up a little bit, um, you know, with uh, zone and with our man, um, and I think that's kind of kept people off off uh, off kilter a little bit. Um, and so I think that's also kept us in games where if the ball wasn't going in the basket, we still have kept it, you know, um, close. And um, and I think that's where I'm also feeling encouraged because it's like, okay, we're right there and we, we get a few more people able to, to put some points on the board. I think that we're going to be um, in a good spot. So, you know, that's part of this process. And um, I appreciate that you're all sticking with me on it. Diane. <laughs> Another one keep for Diane coming. in the back. We don't even have to move with the microphone. Just keep it, Diane. Here we go. Michigan comes in ranked number 12. This is your first ranked team of the season, but you kind of saw that in Virginia Tech as well. So does that change your preparation at all when, you, when you're facing a team like Michigan? No, I, I don't think ranking. You know what I mean? For me, it's... Um, they're a really good team. Kim's done a great job with them. Um, and I, th I think it's no secret that the Big Ten is a really great league and we're going to be playing quite a few ranked teams this year. Um, so no, that doesn't change our preparation. Um, if anything, I think our kids maybe get up even more because they kind of pay attention to the, the ranking piece. But for me, um, you know, I want us to win every game. Um, that's kind of how I'm going into it. So I prepare in that way. <laughs> 